Well guys, it's still raining from uh, last week on uh, that camping trip. It's been raining for about four days steady and hard. Uh, we just had hail, which is why I took cover under those trees. But uh, I'm just walking around the island making sure that all the boats are fine. Because earlier we had uh, a couple of them on the verge of sinking and it seems like at the marina they've had the same issue. Uh, it's just been constant, constant downpour. So I'm just walking around the island making sure everything's all right. Um, uh, our uncle's boats are still afloat. And uh, man, this has been a crazy, crazy couple days. It, it's not very strange for us to have rain, but for us to have rain this uh, steady is really uh, something else. So yeah, just got to make sure everything's good. We've got all the laundry back inside. But uh, one of our main problems has been firewood because we uh, haven't got that much in and then it's really, really cold. It's been almost snowing in some places uh, near us. So it's just uh, got to get all that going and uh, try and find some dry kindling to bring inside. It's pretty crazy. Well guys, all the boats are good. Uh, one of them needed a bit more emptying out, but I just could do that by hand. We didn't need to get the pump going again. And it uh, looks like the rain's kind of settled down, which is really nice. At least we'll get a little bit of break in between and uh, hopefully some of the wood can dry out during that time. I'm gonna split as much of a, as I can into kindling and then uh, move that inside so it can stay dry. Don't really know what our plan this winter will be. Um, whether we're gonna stay here again like we did last year or if we're gonna move on, but uh, try and let you guys know as soon as possible. See what my plans are and uh, what my future looks like and I'll let you guys know. Well guys, I'm on the road, uh, headed into town to do a garbage run and then pick up some supplies. Just need some more milk, eggs, butter, stuff like that since my parents are here now and uh, my current supply isn't enough for all of us. But uh, man, it's nice to have them back. It's really exciting to uh, head out to pick some stuff up for Thanksgiving. Uh, our Canadian Thanksgiving, somebody pointed out, uh, I thought it was only a few days before American Thanksgiving, but it's actually a couple weeks before our neighbors down in the States. So uh, yeah, that's happening today or uh, tomorrow, I mean. So I'm excited about that. But uh, yeah, like I was saying, it's nice to have my parents back. Um, Lando's definitely one happy dog. He was just going absolutely crazy uh, when my parents first arrived and you can really tell he's excited to see them. So yeah, um, I've been a little bit sick the past couple days. Got a pretty bad cold. It's kind of going away now. It's more just uh, my sinuses pressure up in my face, but uh, it's going away, so I hope it's gone fairly soon because uh, it's not very nice. But um, as far as our plans, like I was mentioning earlier, I'm not exactly sure what we're going to be doing. Right now, we're just kind of uh, kind of setting down the cabin for the winter. Um, we're not fully shutting it down until we uh, make further plans on what we'll actually be doing, but. For now we're just making sure that everything's clean and ready so that if we do decide to head out on the road or something or do something else this winter that uh, it's pretty much all ready to go. I have mixed feelings about that. I really enjoyed our last winter there and I've really been enjoying my time up here. Um, it's been a lot of fun but I also uh, kind of look forward to hitting the road and uh, exploring a bit more. but. Yeah, we'll see. I'll keep you guys posted uh, and give you guys updates as we kind of formulate a plan. But for now, we're just going to enjoy our time as a family together up here, uh, possibly for the last few weeks before heading out. So that's what's going on.
Alrighty, finished up in town, and I'm heading back. Uh, you can really tell that fall is here when I'm driving down this road just by the the, col the uh, colors of the trees on the sides here. Um, there's a lot more maples and uh, birch trees and oak trees on the mainland than uh, our island, of course, so you can really tell how far it's come. But uh, it's a beautiful sight, and uh, I'm really excited for fall, even though we might not spend too, too much of it here in Canada. Uh, we will see, but I'm gonna head back, and then I've got some chores to do. Uh, like I said, we've had rain for a couple days, so probably gonna scoop up some pine needles and leaves and lay them along our trails. Uh, around the island and the reason why we do that is because we want to keep it from getting too too muddy because um, since those are well trodden on the there's not as many pine needles or leaves naturally on it so once it gets muddy it becomes really slippery and uh, can even wash out the trails quite a bit so we lay pine needles and uh, stuff like that over top and it kind of helps to um, stay solid if that makes sense. So yeah, uh, we other than that, firewood and uh, just spending time with the family. All right, so on top of getting a few groceries, I also restocked ourselves on uh, propane. Got two new 100 pound propane tanks and that should last us a good while. Uh, we probably don't even need that much, but it's better to have a, a spare. So now we got we're stocked up on propane, we're stocked up on gas and groceries, so we're all good to uh, enjoy ourselves. I think 180. A lot more than that, it feels. Because our sandbag is 100 pounds. They're unreal. They just want to Let's make coffee, I think. I just need my big green mug. Good morning guys, um, it's nice to see the sun come up without it being rainy for once, but 
man. Not my best morning. I'm feeling pretty tired still, but there's nothing a uh, good breakfast and coffee can't fix. So see you guys over at the family cabin. Got myself a coffee. Uh, it's black rifle coffee. Beyond black is the blend. It's by far my favorite one of theirs. It's very dark, so uh, if you don't like black coffee, then I'd go with something a bit lighter, like uh, Freedom Roast or Just Black. But this is, uh, like I said, by far my favorite one, and it's perfect for a nice cold day like this. I got the electric chainsaw out and some of my equipment, and I'm going to be hunting around for some fallen trees to uh, replenish some of our firewood that we've burned through already. Um, I don't need much since uh, it doesn't seem like we'll be staying the whole winter here, but I'd rather have uh, you know more than we need than run out of it when we really need it. So that's what I'm out here doing today. I'm gonna have a few sips of my coffee and we'll get right at it. logs cleaned up although these aren't the thickest so they won't produce much firewood um, that one branch was getting kind of dangerous hanging right over the path and then uh, I'm out here collecting firewood but I'm also cleaning up any uh, more dangerous branches or trees that won't last the winter so partially firewood collection the other part is uh, cleaning up the island so this is mostly maple here which will make excellent firewood, especially for indoors and for cooking because it burns for a very long time. There will be more saw work once I get these back, um, cutting them up into uh, splittable size, but this is the uh, perfect size for carrying. Usually I'd leave them a bit longer, just then uh, it was less trips there and back, but like I said, I have have a decent cold and a this just makes it a little easier on myself. And now is the time to start trekking these back to the cabin.
right, so I'm just gonna take the blower and uh, start blowing off some of the pine needles I have started to gather up on the roof and out of the gutters, um, just so then it doesn't cause any rotting or rust on the roof. It's pretty slippery up on the roof, so I just have to be careful and uh, should be good. Well, we also got uh, the whole screened in room covered in plastic again, like we did last winter, just to keep any moisture or snow out of here once it starts snowing, which probably isn't too, too far off. It's uh, not a good thing, but it's already coming. We have a very short fall up here, but this is where we're gonna be storing all that wood I just split and all of our kindling to keep dry. Um, we of course have some inside right by the fire, but for the bulk of it, it's all gonna go long in here Pretty soon now I'm gonna be heading into town to get a new uh, chimney pipe for this cabin and this stove and uh, Checking in to see if I can get one for the uh, workshop over where I've been sleeping Because the stove itself like I mentioned a few times is actually really nice and it's uh, still in good condition It's definitely salvageable. It just needs a new pipe to go out and if I had a stove in there, the whole room's insulated and it would stay perfectly warm uh, throughout all of winter and the colder months. So it's something I'd like to do and uh, we'll see if it works out next time I'm in town. Well guys, thanks for watching. Uh, sorry about my appearance, but it, it seems like my cold came back for round two. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to stay tuned for some future content, both here at the island and on the road. 
Uh, I'm really excited about heading out, even though I really did enjoy my time here. Um, I think it will give kind of a, a fresh topic for the videos, and I hope you guys will stick around to see what kind of adventures we get up to, uh, both solo, but uh, also with my family as well as we travel around. Um, the destination hasn't really been chosen yet, it's still kind of up in the air. In the next couple weeks or so, we're going to leave the island and head out on the road. At least that's the plan right now. It's just been really nice to have my parents back. Um, this cabin definitely feels a lot cozier with them here and just playing chess with my dad and spending some time with them has been really nice so far. So I'm going to finish my tea, throw on uh, another one of my favorite Sherlock Holmes and uh, try and get over this cold so I'm a little more energetic in the next video. But uh, until then, I'll see you guys next week.